County terminated its animal control contract with Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary effective October 1st. Not because it was doing a bad job, but because the no-kill shelter is about $200,000 in the hole. The no-kill shelter opened last summer, and about a month later, it was offered Kent County's animal control contract. In the first six months, animal control brought in 140 dogs, and Safe Haven says it couldn't keep up. There's a business side to running a nonprofit organization, and so there was a clash of culture from saving every animal and fiscal responsibility. Kevin Usselton is the executive director of Kent County SPCA. His shelter is not no-kill and handles animal control for Newcastle and Sussex counties. While the contracts are big money, Usselton says the expenses add up. Every day you have to house the animal is a day that you have to feed it, clean it, take care of it. If it gets sick, you have to give it medicine. It was good intentions that they had to step in, but it was too soon for them in the development of their organization. Considered a pioneer of the no-kill movement here in Delaware, Jane Parentazzi says just because Safe Haven failed to strike a balance between animal control and no-kill, that doesn't mean the two are mutually exclusive. If you look right now, there's about 400 communities, not states, 400 communities that are no-kill communities, not no-kill shelters, but no-kill communities where animal control is going on. <laughs> No-kill is defined as animals that are adoptable, trainable, or medically treatable within reason are saved, euthanizing 10 percent or fewer. For Parentazzi, the establishment of the state's Office of Animal Welfare is a big step towards Delaware becoming a no-kill state. It's always been shelters trying to juggle their work and try to talk to the legislature, which makes it really difficult. We will soon have the leadership in place to be able to drive home the goals and the programs we need to make Delaware no-kill. According to the state, the new office will consolidate all animal-related issues, like researching best practices for dog control management, setting up a statewide database for lost pets, and overseeing the state's shelter standards law, which requires shelters to fill any empty cages and exhaust all other options before euthanizing an animal. The law is commonly referred to as CAPA, short for Companion Animal Protection Act. In 2011, the organization was $450,000 in debt because that was the institution of CAPA requirements. Now in the black, Usselton fears this new office won't just impact Kent County SPCA. You have created this office with no enforcement and no real funding to even help animal welfare. So what are they going to do? They're going to write new legislation for, for the nonprofit to have to absorb. So it's going to be more unfunded mandates, which essentially is going to force more animal welfare organizations to go under because we won't be able to comply with the regulations. Kent County remains the only non-no-kill shelter in the state, and that alone has created friction between those in the no-kill camp and Usselton. Nobody wants to euthanize an animal. But Usselton says unless the state assumes responsibility for animal control from the counties, Delaware is not ready to be no kill. The community is what generates animals. You can only do what your community is willing to step up to the plate to do. So you can only be no kill if the community cares, um, controls, and properly houses and has a respectful relationship with animals. Our community is not there yet. If you don't get the community excited, you don't tell the community, look, we want a better save rate. We want to be a no-kill community. They're not going to know to get involved. But I do think it's going to take leadership from the new office and the governor's office to help us put some of the differences aside and say, can we all agree that we want a no-kill state and why it's important for our community to have that? When other communities are doing it and they're the same size as our state, there's no reason why we can't do it. Now, whether animal lovers on both sides of the no-kill argument can agree to disagree long enough to figure out how remains to be seen.